Excuse me, I'm a little bit long. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, Robert Moses Power Station. That's on the American side. And the Adam Beck Power Station is just around the corner on the Canadian side. So they're taking water off, comes along, and then it gets put in a reservoir and it runs down. See the inclined concrete structures? That's the penstocks. There's a big pipe, big fat pipe inside that. And the water's flowing down turbines at the bottom and that's how hydro is generated here. <laughs> anyway, you get a nice view of the geology. And you can see the trail at the bottom. I'm tempted to do that one summer, I think. Yeah, that looks... <laughs> well, it's, it's over there, you see. Now, why isn't there a trail on this side? It's less steep. Why? Why do we get this sudden widening of the gorge? It's rather straight there and steep. This has sort of had got this cut out of it. And what's below us? What do you see down there? Underneath all big boulders. Yeah, where do you think they've come from? No, no. You guys, what are we looking at down there? This, what do we call that as a land form? There's a particular deposit down there. <laughs> I'm just going to say everything. Yeah, everything's a Well, all right, let's go back to your big blocks. How did those big blocks get down there? Ice, I don't know. Water. Ice, water, wind. Mm. What are we, maybe what? maybe erosion. the same way, um, the... Erosion? Well, what have we been talking about <laughs> maybe the same for the last really hour? Like there and then it erosion. fell. What type of erosion? By water. Can water move blocks that big? Water rounds blocks, so yeah, anything that's... Well, that, that, yeah, yeah, let's put that aside for a second. Um, maybe the, the same way, like, you were no, no saying the, the, the top no. part breaks off no, the the middle. Yeah, it's a huge rock fall. <laughs> it's a huge rock fall. Look at the size of the area that contains these big blocks. It's huge. Like landslides and avalanches or something? Yes. Yeah, so this is a, a, a rock fall or a rock slide would have happened, you know, a couple of minutes where the whole side of the gorge just collapsed down. So all those blocks down there were part of that layer, the cap rock up here. Yes. This large landslide obviously post dates, it occurs after, it occurred after the formation of the gorge. Yeah. yeah. Which are. And you know, roughly the age of the gorge here, it's probably older than 6,000, something like that. So this has so this probably happened, happened the gorge. No, gorge no, okay. no, right, the get the sequence. Yes. I'm guessing it's 2,000 years ago. So it's happened in the last 6,000 years. I'm off by four. Right, so imagine that the falls are down there. Good. Right, they're retreating back this way, you know, a meter a year. What's feeding the falls? The river. So before the gorge was here, this was a, you know, a plain with a river channel running this way in which the old Niagara River flowed down to the falls down there. The river would be flowing this way to the falls and the falls have 
have retreated through here, meter a year, leaving the gorge in its wake. Okay. And this is part of the old river channel. So the water, you can see how deep the water would have been, right? What's the average depth of the uh, Niagara River when it was flowing here? How deep was it? Your height. I don't know. Yeah, the height of that hill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is what? Um, I don't know, about eight meters, something like that, I suppose. Eight meter deep river, fast flowing. But, and so, so how did you know the river's here? It was, it was here? Um, well, it, A, you know there must have been a river to feed the falls, right? And there are shells that used to live in the river that people have found and dated. So they know the age of the channel, they know when the channel was occupied by a river. And also the landform. You know, we're looking at the Earth's surface, and you can recognize different landscapes, and those landscapes are the result of different sorts of processes. So we talk about landforms, glacial landforms, fluvial landforms cut by rivers. And this, and this is an old fluvial channel from the Niagara River, maybe 6,000 years ago. So what we're standing actually right now is a river. An old river bed. So if you were to dig down, what would you find? Water. What, what sediment type? We've done it in class. Yeah, you might find sand. Find what sand. else? Can you list the type of sediment? We'll pick one. <laughs> no, that's rock. Rock. Remember the difference between rock and sediment. If you were to dig a big trench, you could almost predict what you're going to find. Remember we, we uh, spent a little bit of time looking at how sediments become rocks and we... It goes down. They're down and what? It goes from... Clay something. Yeah. After the clay, clay silt, sand, cobbles. What are rounded cobbles? The final one. I forgot the name. Conglomerates, rounded. What's, what's the name given to angular pieces in a sediment? Uh, begins with a B. Breccia, yeah. Breccia. Uh, yeah. So if you dug down here, you'd expect to find rounded cobbles. Because anything that's moved by water is going to get rounded off. That's why we can recognize that landslide down there, because they're huge, angular, jagged blocks. They haven't been moved by water, or they haven't been moved by ice. <laughs> Remember the shape of the big uh, marble boulder at the college? It's shaped, it's streamlined. Water can't do that, only ice can. So you can use the shape of particles to, to identify what process moved them. This is the cap rock from where you're standing all the way to the top. So it's this stuff that Niagara Falls, the river is flowing over and it's pretty hard stuff, it's fractured, but underneath the shale. So the shale, you know, as we've gone through before, uh, gets eroded, this then gets undercut and then it all falls off. But this is uh, dollar stone, very hard limestone. And um, being a carbonate, uh, it actually dissolves. And so we get landforms underground like caves. And, and they're referred to as karst, K-A-R-S-T, karst landforms, like subway tunnels. <laughs> we looked through the window and we looked up to the falls and the water coming over. So you've got the same process, this is weathering away, and then you get the major rock falls falling down. We'll cause this climb out at the bottom here? Uh, it's softer probably, you know, so it tends to weather back. Softer cap rock? Parts of the cap rock, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> You've got a good picture? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. Very good. I was just pointing out the holes in the rocks. It's very holy rock.
No, They're I called didn't. bugs. V U G S. <laughs> and um, they're important in terms of oil and gas because if you ever thought about where gas comes from and oil, very often it's stored in oil reservoirs in holes just like that. So they're really important in uh, acting as traps. Hydrocarbons will mig want to migrate up to the Earth's surface and they get trapped in rocks like this. And that's what geologists look for and drill, and that's a nice oil gas reservoir. Bugs. So has every, everybody got that? This is the whirlpool. And it is, it's a sandstone. So you can see bedding. See the nice inclined bedding in there? Yeah. Call that cross bedding. This is uh, what we call a fluvial river deposited sandstone. And um, that's the result of uh, ripples, bars migrating. So you're looking at a ripple that's migrating this way. So we can actually say which way the river was going. Now, remember I was saying that there's volcanoes, big deltas, flowing into the interior of North America? There's your evidence. The river was flowing that way bringing sediment from the active margin all the way into the interior. So how, how long ago would it have been when the river is actually... Not this river, this is a very... It's not Laurentide either. <laughs> this is um, 400 million years old. Beginnings of Pangaea. Wow. So it's not this river that's done it, this is rock. This is very old. So this is again... So this is Whirlpool Sandstone. Pangea? Sorry? This is from Pangaea? Yeah, yes. This is a shingle though. Yeah. It's coming down through the sandstone and it hits the shale and comes out as a spring. Oh. So there's a natural spring along there. And the shale is soft. Yeah. Right? So it may explain why. It may explain why we've got these big landslides here. You've got soft shale underneath. So the big blocks are just riding down on the soft shale. So that water is actually clean right back there? Which water? There's a natural spring back there. Uh, yeah. Not if the drum water is contaminated. No, it's probably clean. You could probably drink that. Yeah. But I'm saying, you know, we walked down through a big landslide deposit. Why, is, why here? Why is the landslide here? We may be got soft shale, we've got springs, and the water coming out is gonna soften the shale. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that may explain it. Me. No, yeah. <laughs> you see more cross bedding? Yeah. Well, I don't understand the cross bedding concept. Uh well this was the floor of a river four hundred million years ago and there were ripples and dunes along the floor of the river and they were migrating moving down the channel and they leave cross beds the bars and the ripples the ripples be in water yeah it was in um, so sediment a ripple a mark in the rocks no this was when that was sediment oh okay 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 400 million years ago all right okay let's wander back that's good very good Okay. In unison. Yeah. Teamwork. Step by step.